Hello, <clears throat> my name is Pete Gerlach. I've been a professional therapist for 31 years, and I've been taught during that process by well over a thousand uh, men and women, cl clients, students, other colleagues, mental health colleagues. <clears throat> I have many teachers across the years, and from all these people, I have observed that a great deal of the stress that plagues persons, families, parents, and nations comes from three things. One is psychological wounds that come from early childhood trauma. The second is widespread ignorance of up to six specific topics. Uh, ignorance meaning lack of knowledge, not stupidity. The third related stressor is widely unknown and not focused on. Uh, it is unfinished grief. That's what this video is about. This video will introduce you to Lesson 3, Self-Improvement Lesson 3, online, free. Lesson 3 of 7 on my website, sfhelp.org. Lesson 3 will introduce you to what your parents and ancestors and schools never taught you and what you need to know, especially if you're a parent, what you need to know about bonding, losses, and healthy grief. Uh, that's what this video overview is for. I want you to test, as we begin this brief video, I want you to test uh, the premise that I just offered you about your ancestors and your schools not teaching you what you need to know. Put me to the test here and pause this video and click this link which will take you to a brief video quiz about basic grieving knowledge. Stop this video, click the link, it will open in a new window. Take that brief video quiz about good grief and come back here. And with those things in mind, then let me tell you what you'll find in Lesson 3. Uh, ready, set, go. Welcome back. Lesson 3 on my website has a lesson guide, as do all seven lessons. In the Lesson 3 study guide, what you'll find is um, a discussion of why should you study Lesson 3. It's a basic sales pitch to give you a heads up. I want to do what I can to motivate you in a benign way. Why should you learn more about bonding, losses, and grieving? Why? What's the payoff? The second part of the study guide is 33 assignments, study assignments. Most of them are reading assignments of articles on my website. Some are reprints from other places. Um, some are exercises. Um, these exercises, uh, assignments are broken into four groups. The first group is simply basic information. What you'll find among these basics are answers to why do we grieve? What is good grief? What is a healthy grieving policy? What are the three levels that we need to pass through as we grieve? What are the phases of each level? How do we know when grieving is, quote, done? What is a healthy personal and family grieving policy? So that's what you'll find in the first module out of four in lesson three in the study guide. The second module is a few articles with very specific concrete suggestions on how can you assess yourself to discover if you have not finished grieving some important losses in your life? How can you identify your losses? How can you tell if you have grieved them well enough or not? That's module two. The third module is if you discover that you have some grief that you're not finished with yet, how can you finish it? 
What does it take? What are the requisites? What are the steps? What are the signs? That's module three. Module four is how can you learn to be an effective supporter of other people who are in the process of grieving? That's a learned skill and an art, and it requires some knowledge and some awareness. If people you know and care about, adults or children, are moving through the grief process, how can you be the best supporter you can be for them as they do that? And also, what kind of support do you need when you are grieving? That's module four of this important lesson. Would you agree that you have never studied these things before, or if you have only superficially? Have you ever seen a class advertised about, hey, come on and learn about good grief? You ever seen one? I haven't. And yet this is a vital subject uh, in order to live a holistically healthy life. The uh, articles you'll find in online lesson three are augmented by several videos here on YouTube. Uh, if you watch them all, currently there are six, uh, they will take you about an hour. If you want a fast introduction to what you'll find in the online website and those 33 assignments, uh, view all six of these videos. You're already watching the first of them. <coughs> um, the address of the uh, study guide in my online nonprofit website is here. Here is the link. You'll have to cut and paste it because YouTube doesn't allow direct links, unfortunately. Uh, that will take you to the study guide, which I just outlined for you. Uh, here, just for your reference, is a link to all my YouTube videos on Lesson 3. They are part of a whole group of over a hundred videos on all seven self-improvement lessons that you'll find at my nonprofit educational website, sfhelp.org. So the question I want to pose to you is, uh, let, me, let me mention my question in four stages. Here are the goals of lesson three. Um, I want to raise your awareness of healthy grief. So my question to you is, do you know enough about healthy grief? Um, do you know how to um, finish, to, how to spot and finish incomplete grief? And do you know why that's important? I didn't mention this, by the way. This is an oversight. Here is part of the motivation why studying Lesson 3 is vital. What I have learned across my years as a therapist and a person is incomplete grief. When people are not aware, they haven't finished grieving. That can have significant psychological effects like depression and addiction. Those two mental health problems, quote unquote, are often fueled by incomplete grief. So is uh, the relationship condition called codependence. Unfinished grief promotes that. Unfinished grief promotes physical problems, um, most notably in America, obesity. Some person has said, every fat cell is an unshed tear. Think about that. And finally, Unfinished grief in many people's lives and homes and families causes significant relationship problems. For instance, in step families, people trying to bond to their partners, relatives and in-laws are often blocked and cut out because the relatives and in-laws haven't finished grieving losses from their relatives prior divorce or death. So there are many reasons to learn about how to do good grief. Uh, those are the goals here in Lesson 3. Um, I welcome you to my overall website and my wish to break the cycle of inherited psychological wounds 
and unawareness. Thank you for watching.